I'm Bruce Keigenger and uh, with Just Go Farms we got 20,000 acres of uh, canola, wheat and barley. Yeah, we got a lot of iron around the farm being 20,000 acres, like 10 combines, 10 swathers, we got six four-wheel drives. People in the area, my neighbors are going tracks and dealerships push tracks too. And we're kind of thinking of switching back to tires. Well, when I was starting having troubles with a lot of maintenance issues, the main bearings all went. You're always checking your bogies and you're always having seals go one. And it was down all harvest. Just the downside is the maintenance of it. And they quoted me about 90 grand to fix all the problems with them and tractor had low hours on it. And I says, no, I can put tires on it for cheaper than that. And I tried these LSWs. These LSWs low sidewall and they're really large rim, really wide foot pattern and they don't slip. Saw it on YouTube a bit and thought I'd give it a try. Ordered the LSWs in the winter time. We had them ready for spring and I wanted to put them against my track machines and see if they were as good as they said they did because I was nervous. Yeah, I didn't think it would keep up the way it did, that's for sure. We seated with the, the LSWs with side by side against two track machines. And field wise, like when we were climbing hills, we'd be downshifting and the LSWs would be right there with us, just dropping one or two gears and just crawling up, just same as us with the quad tracks. In the spring, we were pulling our drills. We got flexi coils and we're pulling some pretty steep hills. And I, I run three tractors side by side with the, in the same field. So I had two quad, case quad tracks against this one the New Holland with the LSW 1100s, and it was pulling the hills as good or better than the quad tracks were. The quad tracks were struggling a little bit, and it just pawed right up there. Couldn't believe it. They just grip. It was impressive. Like it, I was expecting it to, when it hit the soft spots, mud holes or whatever. Yeah, no, it it clawed its way through like the tracks would when you when you jerk yourself through. It it kept up with us. Some of our land, you know, as you're getting larger lands further away. So you need a little faster tractor to get there. The difference for us was 17 miles an hour with the tracks. Now we're 25 mile an hour with these tires. The LSW tire was way smoother. It's now you can go 25 mile an hour with the same diffs and get to the field way faster, which is way which is better because it's on the grain cart. Combines are already full and the tractor's just arriving when the other tractors are already there. On a 20 mile drive going to a different field you're gaining a half hour difference in the field. So you figure that out, say you do 30, 32 acres an hour, well now it's, you're in the field a half hour sooner on that drive with these LSWs. So that would, over a month, over a course of a month, that'd be 450 plus acres gained in the field versus the tracks on one machine alone. And out of six, that's gonna be a big difference. The other thing, it was really rough, the tracks. Like they were shaking that tractor to bits. Like we were replacing exhaust clamps, it was it breaking off the DPF filter, like, and now the it's the smoothest tractor on the farm with the LSW. It's unbelievable how smooth it is. 